What can I do? How dare you invade my chambers? How rude! I am a personal guest of Davik himself. I left specific instructions that you guards were not to disturb me until morning. How can Davik expect me to invest in his ventures with this kind of incompetence on display? I should summon the other guards and report you to your commanding officer. Well, I suppose I can forgive the intrusion in this case. Tell Davik I admire a host who has his underlings check up on the well-being and comfort of his guests. I don't require anything right now. You can tell Davik everything about my stay has been most pleasing so far. Here's a five-credit chip for your trouble, sir. Now scurry on back to Davik. If I find I have need of anything, I'll buzz you. Until then, I expect you to respect my privacy. Thank you. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tangible anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. Questions? Please, I've already told you the only useful thing I know. Just let me go before Davik figures out I'm missing. It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have to get out of this base before that happens. We've got what we came for. We should get going. Yes? So, Bastila, I heard a rumor that the Vulcars captured you without much of a struggle. It must be embarrassing to be bested by a handful of street thugs. There were extenuating circumstances, and I can assure you, it took far more than a handful of Volkers to subdue me. Boop. 
Whatever you say. All I know is that if we had more Jedi like Bastila fighting against us in the Mandalorian Wars, my side might not have lost. Bold talk from a broken down mercenary who is serving at Davik's heel. I'd call you his pet calf hound, but they have enough loyalty not to turn on their masters. Insults? Maybe if your master had trained your lightsaber to be as quick as your tongue, you could have escaped those Vulcars, you spoiled little Jedi princess. I was not spoiled. I was given the same training as everyone else in the Order. You are nothing but a... No, I must not do this. There is no emotion. There is peace. That's the problem with you, Jedi. Always chanting about peace and control. Never up for a good fight. Well, except for Revan, I guess. Enough, Mandalorian. I won't rise to your bait anymore. The game is over. Let us continue on with what we were doing. They're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or... Oh, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turned the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. Thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Damn no shit! Now bring this whole hangar down around our ears. Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy.
Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi Enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets! You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. Between. It seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface, though in truth it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here, for now at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantooine. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. We can't just keep running. Malak will find us eventually. We need to regroup. We need a plan. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshun must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I'll meet you outside the ship.